was in the dressing room of Teatro La Fenice about 25 years ago with a friend, a conductor, and we started talking about killing a conductor in the dressing room, and I thought, I wonder if I could write a murder mystery about finding a dead conductor in the dressing room here. And so, although I'd never thought of writing a murder mystery, I wrote a murder mystery. But if I hadn't had the conversation, I wouldn't have written the book. My first publisher found me, actually. I put it in a drawer until someone nagged at me to put it in the mail and send it to a competition in Japan for murder mysteries. It won, and then an American publisher offered me a contract for this book and for a second book. And so because I signed the contract for two books, I had to write another book. And then two more books. And here I am, 20, 22 years later, still writing another book. You open the possibility of spending my life writing about New Jersey, which is equal, perhaps, to suicide. I went to Venice as a tourist in the 60s, and I was lucky enough to make the friendship of two Venetians who remain my best friends after a long, long time. And so I always went back and back and back and back to Venice because I was roaming around the world at that time. And then in 81, I decided it was time to stop living in China and Saudi Arabia and places like that and settle down. And so I chose Venice. But it wasn't for 10 years that I, I wrote the book because I, I moved there in 81 and I wrote the book in 92. So I had 10 years of living in Venice in a Venetian world because at that time I didn't know any Americans there. So I, I was constrained to live Venetian and speak, Ven speak Italian and sometimes Venetian. It's pleasant to read about him because he's a pleasant man and he has a pleasant life. But I think it's what I said as a joke about New Jersey. Consider the alternative. The alternative to writing about a happy man would be writing, spending 27 years, although I didn't know that then, writing about an unhappy, miserable, mean-spirited, violent man. Just think of some of the famous heroes of much crime fiction. They're misfits in their society. And I didn't want to spend, in, at that time, nine months writing about a misfit. I wanted to write about someone that I'd like, someone I'd like to invite for dinner. As it turns out, I was lucky in choosing a happy person because I sp I've spent my adult life with him. And I'm very, very glad now that I made that choice. In a way, it's reflective of my life in general. I've never made a plan. I had no life plan. I just set out to have a lot of fun, to have a happy life. And so with the books, I start out with something, knowing that it has to go to a final resolution of whatever problem is created in the first chapter. And so the first chapter tells me what has to happen in the second chapter and the second chapter, the third, and the third, the fourth. Usually until about four or five chapters from the ending, I have no idea whatsoever what is going to happen. Luckily, it works. It has been successful in 20, I think, 27 books. And so I don't worry about it anymore. In the beginning, I did, because I'd be facing this enormous blank wall of the future of the book. But now I know that something will be written on the wall somewhere, and I will find the way to... To, to sneak through the wall to the end of the book. Let's hope it continues. I have an enormous respect for a country that places such a high value on culture. I lived in America, which has no, no interest in culture whatsoever. I lived in Italy, which has ceased to have much interest in culture. And yet here it remains, where it is respected. And I, I think that is much to the credit, not of France today, but of French culture historically. With the readers, it's, it's always nice when someone comes and says, I love your book. That is always, always a tremendous compliment. There's no reason that you have to believe this, but, or should believe this, but over the years, I have never had someone affront me or confront me and say nah, 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 about the book. There are two subjects which, which have made people a little bit crazy in letters. One is when I start on the church because I'm toxic on the Catholic Church. But I live in Italy, so I have to be toxic on the Catholic Church. And the other were two letters from England that came after the book in which I killed Poppy. They wrote and said, how could you dare to kill Poppy? I've killed children, I've killed women, I've killed men, I've killed, I don't know how many, 50, 100 people. Poppy is a golden retriever. I dared to kill a nice dog. And then I got letters of protest, which came from England. I can say no more.